Yo, man, I already knew these things was gonna be a problem. They sell not everywhere, and they going for over $300. Man, we gotta talk about them, we gotta pull them out. And luckily, your boy got that dub from the Champ Sports. I couldn't believe it. Lately, the last couple weeks, man, your boy been hitting on the Flex app. So we gotta keep that momentum going. Shout out to Champ Sports for giving me this big dub on these Arizona 4 Military Blacks. Let's get into today's video. What's going on, everybody, man? This is your boy, The Vintage, man. If you have not came to the channel yet, Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any content. We're talking about cards over here, sneakers, shot drops, exclusive access, all that good stuff. The content about to get, you know, ramped up a little bit, man. So stay tuned. Like I said, by subscribing and hit the notification bell. And we just restocked the Rodman shorts over on my clothing brand website, Unknown Collections. That will be linked down below. I'm telling you the hottest summer shorts out right now. And we have a couple more shorts dropping very, very soon. So stay tuned by heading over to the clothing brands IG and check out the website, man. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. So yeah, guys, I could not believe I hit on the FLX app. That that rarely happens, especially for a sneaker like this. I already knew it was gonna be some hype behind them. I told you guys in the Air Jordan 1, you know, hype dime video that the new wave is the Air Jordan 4s and the Dunk Lows. And if you've seen the resale prices, on these military blacks, man, you guys will see what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, Air Jordan ones used to go for that three, four hundred dollars after the release date. Now you got Air Jordan fours going for that same amount, and now you see the Air Jordan ones are going for damn near retail. So it is what it is. I have not seen them yet. First time pulling them out the box. Official size tag reads, man. Air Jordan four retro white, black, and neutral gray. Got these things in a size nine, as you guys can see, man. You just go true to size or half size down. It don't really matter. I even got a size nine and a half and the green glows right there behind me. So it all fluctuates. It is what it is. So as long as you're in that range, you should be good to go with rocking the Air Jordan 4, man. So let's pull them out the box. I can't wait to see them. Let's see what all the hype, let's see what all the buzz is about. And yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. We have them. Oh my God. Hey, I mean, now we gotta do an updated Air Jordan 4 collection video, but look at these beauties, man. Look at these Air Jordan 4 military blacks. These is tough. It's a super neutral colorway. You know what I'm saying? You got that neutral gray in there. It's white and black. So it literally can go with anything you want to rock, man. I cannot believe I hit on them. And uh, we're gonna pull both things out the box real quick, break them down, and uh, show you guys what these things are hitting for. Cause I'm telling y'all, these joints some pressure right here. All right, let's pull both the sneakers out the box real quick. I did like how, you know, Jordan is switching up the boxes and not giving us the same thing, you know what I'm saying, with every single, you know, colorway. Just like with the original one heritage, we got a red and white box. This one right here, we got this speckled flight box right here, as you guys can see. And uh, yeah, I really, really like these, man. I'm, I'm liking how they come in. Uh, nothing too crazy. It's some simple, subtle colorways that really turn heads. And uh, as you guys can see, like I said, the resale, the hype is definitely there. Uh, if you're not on the Air Jordan 4 wave yet, you probably gonna get there soon, man. I just recently dropped my Air Jordan 4 collection video, but after that video, I didn't picked up about two more pair of fours, man. So we got these joints right here. Definitely some keepers in the collection. And uh, we're gonna throw them on feet today in the video, man. Real quick before we, you know what I'm saying, break down some of the details, I want you guys to let me know down below in the comment section if you got a W or if you took an L on these joints right here. Very interested in knowing how your release went for the Military Blacks. Something that everybody was feeling since the beginning of the year, the leaked images, and all the way up to the actual release date, they still turning heads, they still building the hype up, and people mad at they taking L's, man. So it is what it is. If you end up taking an L, I would definitely head over to go that man. Go has them going for around 340, 350 in most sizes, which is crazy, man. It's, it's crazy. I still can't believe that the fours is the wave right now. Probably within the last two years, honestly, ever since the Air Jordan 4 uh, University Blues had dropped. So real quick, man, just checking out some of the, you know, the leather quality. It really remind. nah, I'm not gonna say white cement. So white cement, for quality was kind of on the boo-boo side of things. So it's a little bit more softer. I'm gonna give you guys some B-roll hits to that as well. It's a lot softer going around the sneaker. Uh, you got some, you got some, you got some nice leather quality. I ain't, I ain't gonna cap, man. You got some nice leather quality going around these guys right here. Definitely better than the White Smith Fours. And this neutral great hit going around the toe box is uh, like a suede or a, yeah, it's more like a suede or a new buck, whatever you want to call it. 
a uh, nice little texture feel right there. Like I said, it gives it that nice pop going off the black and uh, white midsole and the white toe box, as you guys can see. So it's a complete sneaker, man. Like they killed this colorway. Uh, no basic colors, but the way they put them together made the sneaker look a lot better in my opinion, man. So checking out the tongue, man, you have your black Jumpman logo. Uh, check it out with the flight written right under it. And then on the back of the sneaker, you guys already know, you got your upside down Air Jordan and on the back, you gotta check out the heel, man. Let's check, let's check out the heel, man. Let's check them out. You guys see we have a white jump, man. You didn't get a Nike Air. Usually people are like, yo, why didn't we get a Nike Air on these? But they would have put a Nike Air on the back of these. Just imagine the resale prices after that. Like, people would have been going charging like at least 400 on the release date, you know what I mean? So these definitely lit up the hype in my opinion. They still going around at 340. I tried to get them early, well, like a month ago, and somebody went like 600. I'm like, I don't know about that. So I'm happy I got these. Actually for under retail. I got these for under retail, use my military discount. I think I paid 184. Let me check my receipt real quick. Let's check that receipt. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, $194.57. You can't beat it, man. So checking out the cage system on the size of the sneaker and near the tongue, you get that black popping out. Like I said, it gives it that nice contrast with this neutral gray hit right here and on the toe box of these joints right here. I think those hits make the sneaker, you know what I'm saying, that fire colorway in my opinion. And something that's gonna get really dirty, man, is the outsole on these guys. You got your white, black, and neutral gray hits going all throughout. Standard white laces, they ain't give us nothing too crazy. I think it will be dope if you're doing some neutral gray uh, laces. Thing that might look fire. I feel like black will maybe be too much black in these joints right here, man. So the white laces, definitely a go, definitely a must for me. And if you guys need to know how to lace your original fours, I got the tutorial, I'm gonna link it down below. And if you watch the own feed in the video, you guys gonna see how your boy dripped down the air gentle fours. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it, man, for these military black fours. Definitely happy I hit. Hopefully these dubs keep coming on the Flex app. Uh, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers, man, because we got a bunch more dope fire colorways coming out. Uh, the Zen Master's about to come out. Uh, just, just a couple more colorways, I think, off the top of my head that I'm hoping I can get for retail. If not, I'm making them early just for the Vintage Squad. You guys just stay tuned by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. I appreciate everybody for tuning in to today's video. Like I said, let me know if you cop these Air Journal 4 Military Blacks down below in the comment section. I'm very interested in knowing how your release went. Let's have a dope conversation down below in the chat. You guys already know, man. Go follow me over on Instagram at the Real Vintage and follow my clothing brands, IG, uh, Unknown Collections. I'll be linking all that stuff down below in the description box. And it'd be greatly appreciated if you go tap into my socials, man. Again, thanks so much for tuning in. We about to jump right to this clean on feed over the newly released Air Journal 4 Military Blacks, man. Let's get right into it.